The spectacle in Rio is over. The torch is being passed on to Tokyo for the 2020 Summer Olympic Games. Despite Zika, pollution, infrastructure problems, crime, corruption, and political concerns, Rio has pulled it off with fun, flair, and great success. Most of the 11,000 athletes from 206 competing countries have returned home. The games of the 31st Olympiad were remarkably buoyant and problem-free. Americans are understandably proud of their world leading 121 medals, proud of their U.S. record tying 46 golds, and proud of their returning athletes, more proud of some than others. Michael Phelps led the way with six individual medals, five gold and a silver. After five Olympics, the most decorated Olympian of all time says he's retiring. He does so with 28 total medals, 23 of them gold. Swimmer Katie Ledecky and gymnast Simone Biles were next in Rio, each with five medals, all but one of them gold. China was second in overall medals with 70, 26 gold. Great Britain third at 67 medals, 27 gold. Russia with 56 medals, 19 gold. The Olympics are often as much about politics as sport. Few athletes ever combined the two as powerfully as African Americans Tommy Smith and John Carlos at the 1968 Summer Olympics in Mexico City, remembered for their stunning, silent, power to the people protest salute. Four years later in Munich, 11 Israeli athletes and coaches were murdered. Five Palestinian terrorists also died. The Munich massacre was the worst attack in the history of the Olympic Games. Deborah Luter back. In 1976, 22 African countries pulled out of the Montreal Summer Games in protest of the New Zealand Rugby Union's tour of apartheid South Africa. 1980, the U.S. boycotted the Summer Games over Russia's invasion of Afghanistan. The Soviet Union countered four years later, boycotting the 1984 Games in Los Angeles. The 1996 Summer Olympics were marred by bombings in Atlanta's Centennial Olympic Park. In Rio, Ethiopia's Faisha Laisha protested by crossing his hands above his head while approaching the finish line of the marathon, where he won a silver medal. He did so to call out on behalf of his fellow Oromo people, who have suffered brutal police crackdowns in Ethiopia. He is now seeking asylum, fearful of returning home. Kenya fared best of all African nations with 13 medals, 6 gold. Yulid Kipkogi won the men's marathon and Kenyan Jemina Sumgong, the woman's. South Africa won 10 Olympic medals, two gold. Two world records were set in Rio, South Africa's Wade Van Nekirk in the 400-meter race, and Ethiopia's Almas Ayana shattered the world record in the 10,000-meter race. Ethiopia, eight total medals, one gold. The Ivory Coast, two, one gold. Niger, one medal. Burundi, one medal and Nigeria won medal, its men's football team proudly taking home a bronze. The first ever refugee team was a fan favorite in Rio, made up of athletes from the Democratic Republic of Congo, Ethiopia, South Sudan, and Syria. Finally, from the African diaspora, always well represented in the Olympics, Mo Farah won the gold for Britain in the 5,000 and 10,000 meter races, matching his 2012 success at the London Games. And the fastest man alive, Jamaica's Usain Bolt, was a stunning three for three, winning gold in the 100 meter, the 200 meter, and as anchor in the 4x100 relay. Rio was most likely the last Olympiad for the Lightning Bolt. Farah has not ruled out running the marathon at the 2020 Tokyo Summer Games. Paul Sisko, VOA News, Washington.